It's a new dawn. The sun is rising and its light cascades across the water. Soon it's knocking at your window and you have a decision to make. Do you allow the past to hold you back, to leave you motionless and mired in self-pity as you lie in your bed? Or do you rise up and choose to face the new dawn, the new day, the new year? People say, oh, you're so lucky you have your dream job doing work as an illustrator, or you're so lucky you got published as a children's book author. And the reality is I'm not lucky, as in luck is not something that just happens. Luck is something that is made. And so there are a couple of things that you can do this year to get lucky. Number one is to just start. You have a certain amount of talents. You have a certain amount of skill that was born in you. And you need to look at what you have at your hands and say, how can I start with the limited abilities that I have? And in time, those abilities will grow and flourish and bloom into the skill you need for that job. But if you do not start, then your dream is dead. Number two is proximity. You have to be around the people and the places where these opportunities can manifest themselves. If you do not put yourself within the community or the area, the likelihood of you getting lucky is very low. For instance, if you want to become a children's book author or illustrator, you need to be around the community of children's book authors and illustrators. What are you doing this year to do that? Are you going to children's book festivals? Are you going to talks that are done by these people? Because the closer you get to them by virtue of proximity, by the connections that you make, the opportunities then begin to present themselves. Number three is your ability to communicate and articulate what you really want. The problem is most people don't know what they want. And if they don't know what they want, they don't know how to ask for it. So number three is essential in order for you to get to where you want to go, because you need to be able to clearly articulate to people how you can serve them, what you bring to the table, what you want to achieve, and then that possibility begins to manifest itself. For instance, I started saying that I am a motivational speaker before I even got my first gig. I began by just creating videos just like this. Low cost, I, all I had was my phone and my voice and I worked at the craft of what I had and then the opportunities began to present themselves when people saw the value I was able to share through my ability to communicate that. So as you begin to communicate what you really want and you're clear about it, those opportunities will present themselves. Number four is your ability or your mindset must be ready to accept the opportunity when it presents itself. A lot of times the opportunity does come knocking because you did the first three things. But were you willing to accept it? Were you willing to take up the opportunity when it presents itself? Were you able to recognize the opportunity when it came knocking? This is an important factor. You need to be ready when the opportunity comes and to say yes when it comes. Sure, it might seem overwhelming. Sure, it might seem out of your comfort zone. But that is how you get where you want to go. You have to take that risk. You have to get uncomfortable and be willing to push yourself. If you want 2023 to be your luckiest year yet, you need to plan for that. And that means taking the time to align yourself to your vision, creating goals that will help you get closer to it so that you can get lucky and then creating a game plan to reach those goals. So I hope 2023 is the luckiest year for you. Be true, be you, stay fruitful. Thanks for watching.